before we get into today's video, for all you guys who are on either AMD, laptops with no external monitor connected, or, I don't know, an Intel GPU for any reason, there will be a card in the top right corner over there, and there will also be a video linked in the description and in the pinned comments for you guys. This will only work on NVIDIA GPUs, I'm sorry, but yeah, let's get right into the video, shall we? what's going on everybody welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to overclock your monitors this is going to be for nvidia gpus only what was that this is going to be for nvidia gpus only and uh yeah let's get right into it shall we okay so the last video i made on this it was about a just over a year ago uh coming up on 14 months and uh, it's got 51,600 views so it definitely did well uh, it has a really simple title uh thumbnail could be better as you can see I was 12, actually no, I just turned 13 at that point, about a month into my 13 year old days, but my voice was way different and um, my I, yeah, my setup's changed a lot. I'm off of a laptop and a cheap monitor and I'm onto a desktop with a good monitor. So yeah, this, this video will hopefully be a lot higher quality for you guys and um, I'm gonna explain a few things better now that I understand and have worked with it for about a year more. But yeah, let's get right into overclocking, shall we? Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you have an NVIDIA GPU. You can do that by going to settings, then you go to system, and then if you go to a display, let me resize my window really quick. You can scroll down and you can click on advanced display settings. And right here, it should tell you what your displays are connected to. This is my second monitor. So if you're a laptop and you have a second monitor, you're going to want to go to display two or if you have your external monitor set as display one display one whichever one you're trying to overclock should be connected to an nvidia card as you can see right here nvidia geforce rtx 3070 and i'm running at 165 hertz okay so the next step is you're going to want to right click on your desktop and you can see the nvidia control panel you're going to want to open that and now that we're in our nvidia control panel i'm just going to resize this a little bit you can see here that i have a dynamic super resolution running meaning that that's not my native resolution my monitor's native resolution is 1080p i have a dynamic super resolution running if you have dsr running and you prefer 1440p over a higher refresh rate or whatever you can kind of mix the two it's not exactly as good as just straight up dsr yeah you're gonna have to turn dsr off and the way to do that is you go to manage 3d settings and you should be able to see something along the lines of dsr factors and you can just double click and click that and then it'll go to off and then you can come down here it'll it'll still be there but you can click on customize and Enable resolution is not exposed by display, and that just makes it so that if you have a 60 hertz monitor, you, your monitor can actually run 61, 62, 70, 80 hertz, maybe even. It's just, it's not rated for that, so it's not going to be, the monitor's not going to say that it can do that. So you, all you want to do is click on that and click create custom resolution. For you guys, there's going to be a window that pops up saying uh, that if it breaks, it's not NVIDIA's fault, but um... Yeah, if also if it breaks, it's not my fault because I'm going to be showing you guys a safe method to overclock. Um, I'm actually doing this on the wrong monitor currently, so I will be back. Okay, as you can see, I already have some custom resolutions. They're currently not exposed by the display, um, but yeah, I have all the settings checked. I have already accepted that agreement. And this monitor natively is actually a 768p monitor. So yeah, oh, just going up to 1920 by 1080 is technically an overclock in itself. But what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go up by one hertz. I know it can run at 76 hertz safely. You're going to want to go up by one hertz until your monitor stops displaying a signal. And then after a while of it not displaying a signal, like let's say I go up to 70, hold on. Let's say I go up to 78 hertz because I know that my max is 76, 76 seven hertz i click on test okay it's gonna say that it's successful but you guys can see in my face cam the monitor is black okay invalid format so it's gonna be saying something along the lines of that you can either click no assuming you're on a different monitor that you're overclocking on or if you can't see this box right here it will revert after a few seconds and as you can see my monitor is fine so yeah the monitor will basically keep itself from killing itself which is really nice pretend pretend that you've been overclocking for a while and you've made it all the way to 75 hertz and you go up to 76 hertz click on test and i already have a resolution for 76 hertz so i'm going to just expose this and i'm going to run it right now so, oh god now we can see here we have our resolution 1080p progressive it will be called a progressive resolution my monitor 768p right now but you're gonna want to click on apply and you'll bring it'll bring this up and uh 
yeah so you can have your refresh rate here 76 hertz if you click on customize and you put it at 62 you can see you can switch between the two right here but 76 hertz that's a free 16 hertz and i see literally zero reason why you should not have that on and i'm gonna fix this because this is bothering me i should be zoomed in on it it should not look weird for you guys but anyways so the reason that this will work on nvidia gpus but not on laptop it's built in displays i'll put a card in the top left corner over here um for you guys on the laptops and the reason this will work on desktop and laptops with monitors connected is because you have to have a monitor connected to get all these because these are all display settings which if you have a laptop that like uh with like an Acer Nitro 5 for example with a GTX 1650 built in your laptop's display is going to be connected to the Intel graphics and um therefore you won't have the display settings for the Nvidia control panel whereas if you have uh a laptop with G-Sync such as the Acer Predator 21X or whatever I don't remember what it's called it's got like two 1080 Ti's a G-Sync laptop display since it's G-Sync you have to be directly connected to the GPU so if you have a laptop that has g-sync compatibility on the built-in display you will be able to have these settings but um speaking of g-sync i'm going to set that up here shortly but yeah this also won't work on amd cards for obvious reasons because nvidia control panel but yeah for all you guys on amd and nvidia i will have a video in the cards in the top right and in the description and the pin comment so yeah without further ado guys that's pretty much it for today and uh yeah i'm out Peace. I'm out of nowhere. Where you at? You're over here. Full health. Okay, you're full. Come on. Alright, let's build an old school Fortnite base. What does that look like? Oh, yep. There's people over here. Killed one. Another one died. It's a 2v2. I see them They're over here. I suck at aiming though. He just tried shooting a rail gun. Cracked. He's like literally one shot. No way he hit me with that rail gun. Whoa, hacks. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. GG's.